<laughs> we'll finally do it for real this time. <laughs> hey, folks, Hello. Mr. Justin here with Secret Weapon Miniatures. And uh, joined, of course, again in the home studio by Jess Rich. Hello. Yay. Uh, also known as uh, Brush Misters to the mini painters out there. Um, and, of course, we're here for the final two-hour countdown of... Hey, I don't need that anymore. Nope. The final two-hour countdown of the HD Bases Kickstarter. And, oh my gosh, have I got some new previews for you today. Uh, da -da -da -da. Yes, let's open some of these. Also, make sure I go to multi stream chat. And yeah, we'll have some bases to name. I still got the uh, ideas from last time. You guys were great. Ah, still love playing with these. All right, but let me start uh, with a couple awesome. of the previews. Should be working. This. This one's really bizarre, folks. <laughs> ah, ha, 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 ha. Uh, oh, oh, I guess I need to move me for this to the middle. There we go. We're going to take a brief jump so you guys can see the uh, initial names here. So we've got Bizarre to name later. We have, make sure it's pulling up right, a preview of the Blasted Wetlands theme. This one wound up uh, Castle Dungeon. This is Hunting Grounds now. We have Rusty to be determined. Which is super cool looking. I really, really dig that. It's my first time seeing it on a big screen. Yeah, it's a lot different on the phone. We have Sewer something. I need your help naming these. We have, what did this one wind up? Uh, Frozen Plains. Yep, that's it for the moment. We've got some that are uh, downloading now. Make sure I tell that to refresh. Playing with some of the bases. And of course, the other thing I was doing yesterday was starting work uh, detailing up uh, some components for the Lehman Russ, um, a games workshop kit that I'm doing for the Nova Open Charitable Foundation. I uh, do something for their raffles every year. I love supporting them. And uh, this year I committed to doing uh, at least one uh, Gas Lance team. The stream has insufficient journey. Well, hello, Simon, but not I'm sure I trick. Not... What do you mean, Simon? Um, <laughs> while we wait for an answer there. Buffering, maybe? It could be. If we're being a little laggy on there somewhere. Hey, Alyssa, thanks for tuning in again. Nice to see you. We'll assume that Matt is in the background there somewhere, so hello, Matt, as well. Uh, weathering on the mosaic bases. Um, well, I can show you weathering on the mosaic base that I have here. I can certainly weather that. Um, the new one, the bazaar, that we need your help naming. Let me pull that up. The bazaar, uh, I don't have the prints yet. Um, the things you're seeing here uh, for the first time are things that uh, Eric is pulling off of the printer. Um, he's been working around the clock at every little war. Um, to make sure that we're getting prototypes of the things that you folks have been requesting um, so that we can get them into the pledge manager after the campaign um, or sooner if we can but uh, well at this point it's going to be after because we've got the two hours <laughs> um, and the focus right now is getting those prototypes um, printed so people can see them uh, but that is um, going to be very easy to weather and I can uh, demonstrate that either by um, weathering up one of these or weathering up one of the cobblestone um, because that's easy to do too so uh, yeah if that's a request it looks like uh, 
Yeah. Charles, hello, hello. Greg, welcome, welcome, welcome. Our partner uh, who does the uh, wonderful uh, vellum plants for us, Greg Zinega, um, at, uh, I want to misname your company, Wicked Elf Miniatures. I can get that right. I know what I'm talking about. All right, let me bring over the sack of bases. Marrakesh Market. Oh, Marrakesh Market. Nice. I like that one. Actually, I can use your uh, demo piece there as an example as well. Mm -hmm. Weathering. Oh, and I'm happy to slap some paintboard pigment somewhere too. Yeah, I mean, there's one of the wood samples. But that's an early prototype. Don't have any of the currents. Well, somewhere in here. There we go. I'm gonna throw up this this one right here. Because I can. And I like to. And sorry folks, I'm totally paying attention to what's going on. I'm just cross-populating and checking feeds and all that good stuff. Ah, because I moved my plastic cups into an entirely convenient location. No, they're right here. Just out of reach. Uh, but the thing uh, I, I had some over on my desk the so. is the ISO bottle. No. <laughs> The uh, bottle of 99% uh, isopropyl I use for weathering uh, has been making its way around the house, of course, as we uh, sterilize uh, surfaces uh, when we've had to leave the house and all of that. So I can still get started with the pigment side of this. So let's see what I'm going to do here. Um, oh, Eastern Market, I like that. Oh, we have a new uh, thing? Yeah, Eastern, Eastern market. market. I like it. All right, so let's uh, let's see. I'm gonna do a bit of rust, a bit of green, a bit of yellow. But since we're getting all these great names at the moment, I'm gonna set these three cups aside. And actually, huh, remember that I have one that I've already weathered. Um, let me pull up the. Ka-chow! Come take a video! Ka-chow! Manually focus! Ka-chow! There we go. So this is one that I weathered up before with just a uh, tiny bit of uh, the brown pigment um, to help uh, weather a bit of the stone on here and then added some grass tuft just to make it stand out a bit more. And I'm happy to do that again here on camera so that uh, folks get a chance to see it, of course. Uh, always do. Uh, what's the Twitch channel? Not on a Twitch channel. Sorry about that, Hobby Who. But all right. Um, let's see. I was going to go back to the window here because we were getting some great names for the bazaar. So you do mean the... Uh, You do mean the mosaic burst, the very colorful one. And yeah, I'm happy to weather up one of those as well. What the heck? Oh no, I've got to weather some bases. Well, I can find the mosaic burst in the bag. So many bags, so it's many bases. Burst all over the place. Oh my god. I'm here all week. <laughs> Every week. <laughs> Every week. For months. I'm never leaving. I'm doomed. Well, I'm here forever. it's quarantine day. <laughs> Again. It's sunny Sacramento. Well, you know what? I have two of the night bases, so I'm going to go ahead and weather up one of these suckers. And also, uh, since it's uh, never too early or too late, uh, hey, here's a victory toast to our community for uh, breaking uh, 40,000 last night. Um, woke up this morning to get ready for this and uh, just had time to look uh, before we started. And wow, you guys are amazing. Yes. Um, appreciate your sp uh, support, your enthusiasm, uh, and especially for being here with us today. This is great. We're going to have some fun. Boop, boop, boop. 
Oh. <laughs> Quarantine. Hmm. That sounds like a poutine sort of thing we need to make. Corn like fries. We need to start making um. Well, see, cause quarantine I'm recipes. I'm thinking of like baby corn covered in gravy. Oh, no, no. <laughs> and I know no, you God, hate baby no, corn no, so no, bad. No, no, no. <laughs> baby corn is the worst. I brought baby corn into your house. <sighs> Sorry. It's the end of the world <laughs> as we know it. And why be thought again? I just, I don't. It doesn't make sense. Why don't you like baby corn? It's soggy and it tastes funny. It's not soggy. I've always had it soggy. You've had bad baby corn. Well, that might be the case. I am willing to accept that is true. All right, so I happen to have a couple of pigments here. Yeah, why? Why do I have these three pigments here? I can't remember. Why do I have these three pigments? I think here? I know why you have those three pigments there. Why do I have these three pigments here? Oh, these are the pigments you can get for backing at the hundred and two hundred alarm levels. Yep. Golly, that's why I have so many of them. I don't even have to go over there and open my drawer to take out the ones that I already have. Nope, no, nope, I've got these right here. Well, I can always grab something if you need. But I'm just going to go ahead. I've already got three pots. I figure this is a great way to go. Okay. <laughs> be a cow. <laughs> be a <laughs> 90s kid. Quarantine. <laughs> nice. All right. And yes, Lissa, I, I really hate baby corn. It's... I have never had an experience with baby corn that did not leave me sad. So, Lissa, please tell me that you have at least once in your life attempted to eat a piece of baby corn like full corn. Like, because I have. She's saying, but it's so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, she loves it. Even I've tried that. <laughs> After watching Big, I had to. I was like, well, maybe if I just had some fun with it, I'd feel differently. But Sorry, Jeff. I've known you a long time, and this is it. It's the end. You don't like baby corn. Beautiful, but very fragile goblin head. There we go. Yeah, don't mess that up. Yeah. There's no replacing that. All right. All right. All right, I've got some pigments to start in, and we get and get some of the uh, burning sands out here. Nice little dollop. And all right, make sure I'm caught up. Oh yeah, but it's stir fry with no baby corn. Is it really stir fry? Oh my god, yes. If there's no baby corn in stir fry, it's still stir fry. And if somebody ever tries to feed me Mongolian onions with baby corn in it, I will burn the place down. Because that just, it would, it would just ruin everything. I'm going to make a curry with baby corn. And I'm going to make you at least one piece to try it again. You should revisit things you don't like at least every once in a while. Yeah, that's fair. Unless it's gin. Early Silver Queen is the best, though. Oh, uh, it's great. Oh, yes. Old corn. Bay on corn. Yes. Well, yeah. On regular corn. Well, yeah, I wouldn't put Old Bay on baby corn. We need the Alote man to be able to come around again. Uh, yeah, some. no, the bases themselves are absolutely textured. Oh, what? Charles. So maybe it's textured, or is that a detail print? So um, the whole process for us, uh, we actually start with a blank high impact polystyrene base, the same sort of thing you'd get with a new model. And the ones we use have a cavity uh, in the top into which we print textured detail. Um, I think the best base on hand to show that off. Yeah. That is texture. Also, I'm dragging my finger across it. There's no damage. I've got some. Sorry, Tom, I didn't clean that nail. Um, but yeah. Uh, this is a durable uh, UV textured print. Uh, once we put our texture in there, uh, we give it a full color pass, which gives us texture and color. It's neither a sticker nor an insert. It's just a solid thing. And we can, in fact, I think I just had the one I drilled earlier. Uh, in here somewhere. 
But you can drill them, you can pin them, you can glue them. Can also... Everything's easy peasy. And there's so much texture. And there's so much texture that in this case, uh, we covered part of it with primer and just went back uh, with a couple of glazes here for the greens, of course, and dry brushing for the stone. So this is uh, primer, dry brushed, and then some little spot washes. Oh, uh, Javi Hui, yes. Uh, this is streaming on our uh, Facebook page as well. Um, so the comments that we're responding to uh, look like they're mostly coming in from uh, Facebook. Uh, so if you want to be part of the chatter, uh, definitely jumping over to the Secret Weapon Facebook page uh, is the way to do that. Uh, you'll find us on Facebook, uh, Secret Weapon Miniatures. Which, of course, because we've got the word weapon in the name, I actually did have to um, appeal for it because we originally got it denied and I had to send them examples of branding and usage and I'm like, yeah, we got around. Um, Charles, uh, no, um, yeah. it will not at all. Um, this one has been varnished. Um, we have varnished them. We have glued them. I have models, places. Well, I have a Reaper Bones figure that I glued to one the other day. Um, so this is gluing LDPE. Um, you know, soft plastic uh, to the uh, directly to the base. There's no pinning or anything like that, um, and that's worked out just fine. Um, my Space Marines have wandered off, like they do. You know, they they have day jobs. Um, space Marines are still, you know, essential employees, providing an essential service to the Imperium of Man, and I appreciate that. <laughs> uh, but I'll find them um, and give you examples of them glued to the base. Um, happy to pour some glue on a base again um, and let it dry. There's no fogging or anything like that. No silvering. Uh, does not affect the color, does not affect anything. Um, even took one of my models, pulled it off of the base, and the only thing that was left behind is some of the old white base on the guy's foot um, that was still stuck to this base. It was great. Um, as an example of uh, hardiness, I've also taken uh, MEK, that's methyl ethyl ketone, the plastic cement that melts plastic to plastic. And uh, while that won't do anything to glue on these, um, I used it as an example of hardiness to show that, you know, even after sitting there for five minutes, I could whoop, wipe it away and, uh, yeah, no damage to the base, no anything. Um, there's also room under here, of course, because it is a standard hips base uh, to add magnets. And all of this is done 100% in the United States with our partners here. Uh, we have uh, Reaper Miniatures um, in Texas, who has the tools made in Texas and does the injection molding there. Um, they're providing us with the plastic blanks. Uh, they go to California. Uh, where Eric at Every Little War uh, does the printing for us. Uh, Major Tom from DACA is the one who's done all of these incredible original designs for us. Uh, and then from there to Sacramento to get shipped down. So we have a question from Thank You Sai. Mm -hmm. Wanting to know if he pledges $50, can he choose three 170 by 105 millimeter bases? Yeah, absolutely. Um, and Thank You Sai, uh, what I'll recommend, uh, it's certainly optional at this stage, uh, but you can log in and create an account with the pledge manager now. Um, there's a, a description at the bottom of the main page that'll show you uh, how to um, calculate your pledge there, mm -hmm. bring that total back over, and um, update your pledge so that you're pledging exactly uh, for what you want. Nothing more, nothing less. Hey, kid, what's up? Hey, kid, going on a walk. Are you going with Mama? No, I'm not sure. No, not right now, then, buddy. Why? Because I need my phone right now. But if you decide to go on a walk with your Mama, come back and ask me again. But right now we're broadcasting live, so. Yeah, I know, you can be pouty face. Thank you though, you're welcome to hang out, but only if you're over working on models and stuff. And uh, it's okay. I said no. It's okay, Morgan, you're uh, the, it was just a, what, did we use Krylon or the company? I'm not sure we can say their name. Uh, Well, the primer I used was the Citadel, the Games okay. Workshop All primer. Right. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I've got no problem uh, saying their name. I okay. can't imagine there's going to be any uh, a hassle for that. Um, I'm a big fan of the Games Workshop primers and varnish. Um, and part... Oh, Lissa. Uh, or sorry, Seamus. Lissa says hi. We've chatted with them before. All right. Um, but yeah, I'm a big fan of the GW cans. Um, it's a high-quality product, uh, and I really appreciate the fact that they put the uh, uh, misting caps on them straight out of the... Straight out of the box, it comes like, boom, it has a fine mist cap on it. And that's what I expect from all of my sprays. Um, price point is high, but, you know, quality is good. Yep. So that's what I use. Uh, but you could use anything. Um, I mean, sure, I've sprayed these with my Krylon, both gloss and matte. I've sprayed them with my uh, testers. I have uh, just poured enamel paint on them. Um, 
we spent the better part of a year putting this through their paces. At one point, uh, Eric at Every Little War wanted to make sure that the uh, bases were reasonably um, color fast uh, because they're a uh, UV ink. Um, he actually took a bunch of bases uh, onto the roof of his shop in a Sacramento summer, so with 115 degree heat outside, put on the roof of his building, and then left them in the sun um, for a couple of days uh, to say, yeah, you don't want to do that, but it's going to be fine. Um, we've done so much to try and destroy these and test these. And, and you're uh, you're very welcome. Thank you, Cy. By the way, I love that name. Great yeah. series of books. <laughs> um, and then uh, Charles wants to know about 20 millimeter bases. I believe we covered that in an update. Uh, we did. Um, it's... I'll well, find out now. Yeah. Um, well, I did pull it up, too. Well, I was going to say, yeah, just hit uh, uh, Reaper Mini and search for 20 millimeter gaming. Um, it's not a tool we were looking for, uh, but if Reaper already has it, uh, it's certainly something we can offer because the tool already exists. Uh, am I pulling up on Reaper? Yeah, Reaper Mini. You know, one thing to uh, thank Reaper Miniatures for, again, is that the uh, round bases, um, that is an entirely new investment for Reaper Mini. Uh, they had one 30 millimeter slotted base uh, in the round lip style. Can I have and some tweezers and a cup of water for decals? I don't have a cup of water, buddy, but I can get you tweezers, yeah. You'll need to go get a cup of water, though. Uh, but all of the new round lip sizes, um, from 30 up to 120, uh, absolutely all of that um, is new investment on the part of Reaper Miniatures uh, to help us with this campaign. And yeah, big shout out to them for that help. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, the Privateer Press White um, Primer is Krylon. Um, that's no big secret. Uh, Privateer's been pretty public about uh, working with Krylon to get that done. Um, and be careful if you're replacing the nozzles and the Privateer ones uh, because the Krylon, those little Krylon caps, um, yeah, they can cause real problems. If you get on uh, spray art sites uh, to order caps, there's usually a, uh, a big warning at the top that says not for use with Krylon cans. Yeah, so currently it's... Um... What is in the plastic shot glasses and when will I be drinking them? Oh, good. These are pigments. We were going to weather up one of the... Uh... That's all I'm seeing. Mm, no, that's why. Um, unfortunately, the 20 millimeter blank doesn't exist. They have yeah. a flat top version. Um, and we can't print in the flat top. Yeah. Um, everything else they did for us uh, with the lip, uh, the 20 millimeter, not a thing yet. I can say that. Um, certainly when there's demand for it, um, heck, we'll pay to get the tool shot if we need to, and it'll be great. Um, we'll make it work. Uh, we are drinking... Um, quarantine victory, coffee? Yeah, quarantine coffee. It's like regular coffee, but with a Manhattan. But with a Manhattan instead. On the Soto coffee. <laughs> um, yeah, we're, we're sipping out of our uh, victory... Uh, Manhattan's here. Mm. Thanks to you guys, the campaign is already a huge success, so we figure we can start celebrating now. <laughs> Seems reasonable, right? Uh, but yeah, I'm going to weather up uh, one of the mosaic burst tiles. But since we have um, such a great crowd on Facebook right now, uh, I want to come back to the naming. So I'm going to show off some of these uh, new... Um, prototypes. Um, and before I do that, uh, before I do that, I want to say um, that what you're seeing now, oh, thank you, love. Uh, what you're about to see um, is work that Major Tom and Eric have been busting butt for the several days now mm -hmm. um, to knock out for you guys. We saw your feedback on the campaign saying you wanted dungeons, you wanted sewers, um, uh, an Asian garden or something uh, Asian, uh, which we'd already been working on, which was nice. Um, but we saw all of your requests. And they've been busting butt to make it happen. Um, I think, let me refresh the folder here. Uh, but I think I have... Oh, I'm still not seeing the new one for uh, the, the stone place for Tatami, but I'll make this work. Yeah. All right. So the first one, and again, this is completely fresh off the press. Um, yeah, an entirely new original design from Major Tom. Um, Eric cranked it out uh, literally overnight. He's been working around the clock um, to get these prototypes done. So you guys can see them, help us name them before the end of the campaign. 
For the bazaar here, we already have some good names as well. We have Marrakesh Market, Eastern Market. I like those. Ooh, being on call. Uh, and it's true, my boss is not going to write me up for drinking. Uh, in fact, if I didn't uh, drink, my boss probably would write me up uh, because thanks to a couple of marketing geniuses that are actually still working in that capacity in our community, uh, therefore I won't necessarily name them, but hey Ross. Um, uh, uh, yeah, the Manhattan became a, a signature thing um, very early on at his advice, saying, you know, look, you've been doing these in the evening. He's like, now you've got to make sure you always have one. So uh, try not to broadcast at 10 in the morning. Um, <laughs> oops. Uh, so I got most of it right. Um, but it's great because, uh, you know, we sponsor a lot of uh, tournaments and events. Um, and I guess great is relative. But uh, uh, folks will come up at conventions and just be like, oh, man, thanks for, you know, supporting our thing. Here's your Manhattan. Uh, and I appreciate that. It's nice that there's an easy way for, uh, you know, the community to come out and be like, hey, yeah. thanks for supporting our event. Um, plus, you know, Manhattans. Yeah. As it turns out, <laughs> I really like them, too. Yeah. There's no sadness. Um <laughs> Yeah, the other owner likes him. Cyrus is a big fan. Yeah. wonder if Cyrus is, oh, Cyrus is an essential toy. He's probably working. But anyway, mm -hmm. we're talking about the Bazaar mm -hmm. name here. We have um, Marrakesh Market and Eastern Market uh, on the list so far. Any other interesting names for this? Let me go to the next one here. What is next? We've named the dungeon. We have the Rusty. Oh, yeah. All right, so this is Rusty something or something Rusty. People really wanted a Rusty theme, and this... Persian Bazaar. Persian Bazaar. I like Persian Bazaar. Alhambra Sunset. It sounds like a drink. Alhambra Sunset. Mm-hmm. Which is great, because there was an Alhambra theater here in Sacramento that, yeah, very much reminds me of that. Thank you for joining, Lissa. <laughs> All right, so Jeffrey, you're thinking uh, Scrap Yard for the uh, Rusty one, and then we have Wrecking Yard. Mm, the one reason I would uh, we already have, scrap have some, some twitch with Scrap Yard is it doesn't closely enough resemble um, the Scrap Yard uh, bases that we already have, the right. resin ones. Um, but that said, I'm not sure that it matters. Um, I mean, if you're taking uh, uh, these for you know your basic troops, mm -hmm. and then you get a couple of the resin ones for your bosses and whatnot, that's actually a really great combination. Mm -hmm. And I might actually base my orcs that way. Yep. It's okay. one of the reasons I haven't done it. Is I'm just like, oh my god, I've got so much work to do on the bases. Thank you very much, Patrick. Yeah, I like that. Uh... Oh, good. Yeah, Patrick. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, we're in the final two hours here. And we have a wrecking yard as a possible idea. Oh, wrecking yard. Where'd that go? Oxidase, Rusted Earth. All right. So, nice uh, names. Can you look in my pocket? Work, of course. We're, We're live. We're our broadcast. Yeah. I just remember when it means pebble water and food. <laughs> wrecking yard, what was it? Oh, we have Wrecking Yard, Rusted Earth, Fallout Ground. Oxidase. Too soon, Greg. Quarantine <laughs> Wasteland. Oh, it's too soon. Plus, I think Oxidase is something I took in college. No, you can. Seamus, I need you to close the door, please. Whoa, watch yourself. You're going to set your cup on glue. All right. Ooh. This is my uh, nine-year-old son, uh, Seamus. And he'll be joining us in the studio today while he works in art. You're going to want to move your birdies. Ah, uh, yeah, I need to move my watercolors. That's yep. that, 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 What was this? Me... Industrial waste. Oh, I like that, too. Yes, did you see this? I do these for a little more. Here we are. Oh, is that a little Mars? Maybe I can Okay, there you go. You have a little more room. There you go. Can I have some tweezers, please? Of course. You will not want those tweezers. Tetanus field. 
That's kind of wicked and awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it might be my favorite so far. <laughs> All right. Ooh, Ferris Crown. Ooh, yeah. All right, you guys are awesome. All right. Thank you for the awesome names. So let's take a break from uh, the name metal game. Where's the next one? Oh, it's sewer. Because you guys need to come back to this one too. Yes. Uh, Marcus Christian, calling you out. I remember uh, you'd left a comment on uh, Facebook, uh, I think yesterday, saying, "Man, you'd really like to see the dungeon, uh, castle dungeon theme with some moss on it." And good news. <laughs> uh, here it is it with is some thing. moss on it. And I really, really love how this process captures the moss. Um, we've named this one, I'm gonna show it off again, uh, but we named this one uh, Hunting Grounds in the last broadcast. And the texture it captures for those ferns, I mean, it's just so lush and alive. Um, you know, you wanna upgrade your uh, captains or, you know, bosses or whatnot, um, take some of our tree trunks, uh, some of our leaf litter, make it a little more three-dimensional, it's gonna be tremendous. Ooh. And uh, yeah, I went there. I said. Stick cut glued to the table briefly so oh, okay <laughs> just had to lift it up and move it <laughs> um, but yes back to the sewer sewer something yeah. so here's one um where to be honest for search engine optimization reasons uh we want sewer in the name um this one yeah it's gotta be sewer something something sewer yeah just saw charles's comment uh, and Charles, yeah, um, we're working with uh, the wonderful folks at Simon, um to make that happen. Um, unfortunately, things are a little weird right now uh, in the world, and communicating with the artist has been uh, a challenge. Um, That's a good but one. We're going to get over that, and we're going to, uh, after the campaign, um, give the prototype previews uh, and then announce the sets. Um, so anyone even backing for Zombie Side now, if you back at a dollar, um, you'll be able to still get the Kickstarter pricing um, for as long as the pledge manager is open. Uh, folks who join the campaign after today uh, can do so in the pledge manager, um, but they will pay 20% more than people who are backing now. And then we've got to... Uh, well, Cheers, Greg. Thanks for joining, man. And yeah, thank you very much. Um, we have tons yeah. of names pouring in. Oh, on the sewers? What do we got? Effluent. Effluent sewers. Papa, can I have one? Sewer life. Verdant yeah. sewers. Second. We are not naming anything moist, Matt. <laughs> Come on, Victorian. <laughs> sewers. Verdant. Papa, can I name one? Yeah. Do you have an idea for a sewer basis? Mm -hmm. Come take a look at the picture, buddy. Yeah, I'll give you the big version. And I believe we're a fulfillment looking at January? Uh, yes. Yeah, we uh, are looking to ship in January. The entire process is managed in the United States. Um, we have complete control over the supply line for this entire thing. Um, the tools are manufactured in Texas. The injection molded, uh, injection molding uh, is done in Texas. Um, from there, it ships to California, where Eric at Every Little War does the printing. Um, and it comes to Sacramento, so we can ship it out. Um, the people that are responsible for that, um, myself, uh, Eric, um, we're it for our shops at this point, but we can still pull this off. Um, and then, of course, Reaper is still operating on a skeleton crew of the owners, uh, taking very good care uh, out there in Texas. Um, and they're still producing bases. Confirmed yesterday, they'll still be able to do that for us. So, yeah. Or not yesterday. Confirmed this morning. They'll still be able to do that for us. Um, so, yeah, you had a sewer name, Seamus? But, yeah, we're still looking to fulfill in January um, and have these two retailers in March. Sewer party. Sewer party. All right. All right, sewer park. Yeah, sewer park. Park. Okay. All right. Sewer park yeah. works. It is parking. Parisian playground. <laughs> and yeah, certainly, uh, Patrick, you can add a bit of uh, flocking onto these um, to make them a bit more lush. I'll come back to the split cam for a second, which means I'm going to jump to the left. Um, and this is one that I'd added some pigment and some grass tuft to. And then some gloss on the mud. Do I see the gloss? Yes. Yeah. 
Slimy sewer. Well, that seems out. I like it. Hmm. Mossy sewer. Hmm. Oh, Marcus. <laughs> what? He's being Marcus. <laughs> Uh, to the YouTube comment, forgive me, I'm RDI... R. Diggled. R. Diggled, okay. Um, the price is going to be uh, equivalent to um, or slightly higher than our resin bases. Um, the process takes longer, materials are more expensive. Um, it's not a faster, easier, cheaper thing. Um, so yeah, it'll be comparable, um, just slightly higher than our resin bases. Um, at the moment, it looks like it's going to be the same to about 20% higher, um, but we are uh, looking things over, um, of course, once we actually get these into full production uh, to see if that goes up a bit or down a bit. And hey, Mario, I'm doing all right. We're uh, holding up. Um, you know, yeah. uh, my family's one of the uh, very privileged ones in this, uh, given that, uh, uh, you know, we were uh, lucky enough to be prepared. Um, We've got enough food. We're, uh, we've already been sheltering in place since uh, 12 March, so we're coming up in a month now. Um, yeah, my kid is getting a remote education, although he's on spring break uh, this week. Um, uh, Jess Rich uh, opted to shelter in place with us, so we have uh, three adults in the house, one kid. Um, yeah, we are yeah, really privileged, so holding up better uh, than a lot of friends, so doing our best to check in with them. Uh, speaking of which, I'll have a post up after the campaign about this, because I didn't want to distract from the campaign. Uh, but I'll mention it here. Uh, Secret Weapon does have a Blood Bowl League that we have just started, um, and we're going to launch this week. Um, it is invitation only, so you'll have to get onto Facebook or send a message or something. Let me know uh, what the team name is. Um, but otherwise, I'll make a post on uh, the Secret Weapon Facebook page all about that, um, so people can comment there. Uh, goal is to get our community connecting with each other and a chance to chat and have a good time. Ooh, Asylum Sewers. Yes, James. How would try Sewer Land? Or sanitarium Sewers. Sanitarium Sewers. Sanitarium. Mm, now I have an idea for a completely different base with Sanitarium. Yeah, the Blood Bowl pitches. We've got a clean and a dirty pitch. And we're working with the community so that uh, uh, post-campaign, of course, at this point, uh, we can put together a standard Blood Bowl bundle. Um, uh, yeah, and that was for the PS4. Blood Bowl is for the PlayStation 4, specifically. Um, but we'll put together a, a um, Blood Bowl bundle. Uh, the current advice is, uh, what, I think it's 14 at 25 and 1 at 40. What do you need? That's the rating for... No, that's uh, for the bases, for the people who are playing um, the actual Blood Bowl game channels. We make bases for yeah. that. See? Looks like the Blood Bowl pitch, huh? Well, I guess that one does. <laughs> that one's more accurate. That one is far more accurate, yes. With yes. paper dark elves. Yeah. Yeah, the Infinity, yeah, the Infinity. Year hot. Oh, let me see if I can... I think we've got a preview here, too. I can bring back up. Uh... There's a red veil. Oh, there's a full set of red veil. That's... Oh, wait. Though. I don't want to bring oh. up anything that's not there's the... the new ones. Approved movie thing. I think that's right. Uh, uh, all right, let's see this time. Yeah, right here. Oh, and there's a ton. Oh, yeah. There it is. So, this is the fresh off the printer red veil prototype. It's been uh, rescaled um, because the original previews that we had um, were much too large. Um, this is still pending approval, of course, from Corvus Belly. Uh, but yeah, this is the proof that we sent over for, for approval on the Red Veil. Uh, if Blood Bowl is just 32 millimeter, then it would be 14, 32 millimeter and well, there's the bigger guys, so the trolls and treats mm -hmm. and whatnot yeah. on the bigger size base. If that's a 50 or a 40, I forget. 
And yeah, those are pretty. I mean, the object source lighting effect, the, the lighting effect, I mean, especially on the left image, um, the green one with the yellow edge and the white lights on it. Um, yeah, the OSL is really fantastic. Major Tom really kicked butt making that pop. And again, thanks to every little war for working around the clock to make sure that these get mm -hmm. pro uh, these prototypes get printed out so you guys can see them. All right, so we have names for all of these, but I'm going to come back to them. And this time, show off some of the stuff that you guys have helped us create as we've gone through this. So we have the Bazaar, for which we have some great names. Marrakesh Market, Eastern Market, Persian Market, Alhambra Sunset. We have Blasted Wetlands. Which is another one that will look great. I mean, if you just want to upgrade your... Uh, captains uh, a little bit, you know, tossing on some of our uh, tree stumps and whatnot. Uh, Chris, um, Bonefields, we're looking at it. Um, it's on the list, but it's low priority right now. The big priority right now um, has been uh, getting the themes that people have been asking for during the campaign uh, into prototypes. Um, but we want to do uh, bones and we want to do faces, just faces. Hey, Papa, can I have one captain and you have the other No, captain? Seamus, we've talked about those models. Mm -hmm. There are other models out there for you to build. But I would finally like to build one of those. So no. Thank you very much for the shout out, Matt. The mega robots. I think you chose. Seamus. Okay. We've had that conversation, and I'm not going to do it again, especially while I'm working, buddy. Yeah, I'm going to build a tank. So are we going to weather one of these? Uh, yeah, that was certainly part of it too. Uh, <laughs> but I was going to finish showing off the yeah. uh, so blasted <laughs> wetlands, the castle dungeon, and that'll be a fun and easy one to weather as well. Uh, hunting grounds. The rusty one, for which we have so many great names: uh, scrapyard, wrecking yard, rusted earth, fallout ground, oxidase, industrial waste, Mars manufactorum. Although I have to make sure that manufactorum is in uh, copyrighted. Yeah. Uh, tetanus field and ferrous ground. Although I say right now, ferrous ground has certainly got my vote. That's that's my favorite right now. All right, then we have. Uh, the sewers, which we have um, effulgent sewers, Victorian sewers, verdant sewers, sewer park, slimy sewer, mossy sewer, and asylum sewer. And then we have the frozen plains. And if I go, well, one that we don't have a good consolidated image for yet, but this is the stone temple. Let me uh, rotate that image. Give you a better look at that. Really a big fan of that one. Yeah, that looks really nice. I mean, the texture on that right edge is... Yeah. And yes, something nerdly is uh, at the top of the prototype list. Um, not sure if we're going to get prototypes for that. Um, bef well, during the end of the, the final minutes here, um, or if that's one we're going to show you guys uh, after the campaign. Uh, but remember, as long as you back for a dollar now, uh, you're locked into the Kickstarter prices um, for as long as the pledge manager is open. Um, anyone who joins after the campaign will pay 20% more than backers during the campaign. All right. Uh, so Charles, um, are you referring to the that one divot that's on the night base? Yeah, Charles, on the snow. Um, snow base is the only one it's a problem for. And unfortunately, on that night base, uh, there's not going to be a way to fix that without um, putting a forced crater or shadow there. Um, you'll notice that even on the other light themes, it's there, but you got to go looking for it. It's right there in the middle, just as pronounced. I mean, you can see how pronounced they are from the bottom. Flight deck. Where is it? It's right there. Yep. But you have to go looking for it. It's in the same spot and to the same degree yeah. on all of these. On this one, you can start to see the distortion on the uh, grading texture there a little bit, um, but it's subtle. Uh, the only theme for which that's going to be an issue, and again, here's Imperial Halls. White, marble, but again, the lines and texture here allow us to disguise that. 
Um, on the snow theme, I'll pull that back up. Yeah. On the frozen plains, I hope if I change uh, fancy widgets here. On frozen plains, there's not going to be a way for us to um, mask that without, well, like I said, putting an impact crater there or something. Um, and all of these are still prototypes, still in progress. Um, so if we come up with a you know creative way to uh, cover that up without simply doing an impact crater, uh, we will certainly pursue it. All right. Can I have the pen for Hobby Knife? Uh, you should be using clippers at that point, kiddo. I can't find it. Well, you had my clippers over there yesterday. Check the other box. You might have put them in the other box. All right. And yeah, the other textures hide it really well, but that's uh, since we've been waiting a long time to get to this. Let me uh, find them. Oh, and I just wanted to say that. So I love fractal black. Really, really love this Ooh, over here. Um, I yesterday was putzing around uh, in Photoshop and have come up with something that looks kind of like a chaos stained glass. Um, so hopefully that will get a prototype, and we'll see how everyone feels. Yep. Currently calling it fractal Jess. Yes. <laughs> hey, Fractal. And Charles, thank you very much. And thank you again for backing. It's the last uh, ooh, hour and ten minutes. Now's the time to tell your friends. Um, if there's anyone out there you know is going to want these bases, now is the time to tell them. They're not going to want to miss out on this. Uh, particularly because the savings now is going to be considerable. Um, and they will have access to all of these themes, the opportunity to get into the new broadcast with us and name them. Um, excuse me, because as we start knocking out the rest of the prototypes, yeah, yeah, they're going to want to be part of that. All right, so wait, mossy cobblestone looks like a church courtyard. Hmm. But can I go and walk by myself? So Not right now, buddy. Hmm. It's true, um, but for least. sewer, uh, for search engine purposes, um, sandpaper's in this one, buddy. Thanks. Um, sewers are one of the bases we get lots of searches for. So I'd like to have somewhere to direct. Yeah. Please uh, send a shout to anybody. Yeah. Um, yeah. This is. <laughs> yes, we'd be really upset if you told people about this. Now, of course, please. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, share the link to the live feed right now. The, the share the link to the Kickstarter. Anything you like. Anything to you know get eyes on here and get people involved, uh, especially if they want to join us on the live feed here. This is yeah. So much fun. All right, I've zoomed in. Um, and I'm going to start, well, which one of you, I'm going to start with a little bit of the rust orange, and I want a thin wash for this, and a smaller brush, actually. Hey, buddy, I'm going to get you not to sand those pieces. Um, for that, you'll want to use your hobby knife and scrape at the edge, like you were. It won't be able to glue together right. Take your time. Yeah. You can also scrape instead of press. Oh, that's right, I was starting with the Yeah, orange. can I show you what one? Okay. Thank you. Can you see? All right, so. Yeah, see, you've got to be careful I'm doing there, this really, really thin right now in this area here. All right, so you have this and carefully, spot right here. You can just I just want a little start. Do that. Oh, yeah. Make sense? Okay, there you go. And I want this. Thin, so it's acting as a wash, getting into the recesses for me. So that old grime that's just in the corners. Every floor has happy dirt. Every shoe is dirty. All right, now. I'm going to do a, uh, I have not tried the Games Workshop contrast paints on them um, because I have not tried the GW contrast paints. Uh, I haven't tried new paint in a long time. Um, the only new paint I'm really testing out these days is the new secret weapon paints, uh, which I haven't had time to work on. Before, so. Otherwise, I'm Reaper and secret weapon all the way around. All right, so I've loaded up with a heavy wash now. But I happen to have a contrast paint with me, so I'll oh, give hey, that a shot. 
That's crazy. I'm going to get some actual muck. Nice thick stuff right off of that corner there. I'm going to really hammer this spot. If it doesn't work that way, turn it around. You see? What are you building? You're building, oh, the Lehman Ross? Oops, sorry. Yes, we just okay. You are. Oh, I see how it goes. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let me get the yellow on here now with my small brush. And again, I'm taking the thick stuff over here. Ooh, that's too thick. Let's paste. I'm not painting with it. I want. I want some heavy contrast. It'll dry nicely. There we go. We're going to weather up that corner. And over here. How about this will be in this go like this? Yep, that's how it goes. It's kind of pink. Yeah. Yep. It's out of purple. Okay, that just comes right off, doesn't it? It does now. Oh. <laughs> I don't think that was so supposed to This is like to. a wash? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, it's just like the secret weapon wash. Yeah, I know. Okay. Can I see? Oh. Ooh, but with weird glow. It's got a thicker viscosity. Yeah. Um, it's almost gelatinous. Yeah. Um, That's kind of an odd acrylic gel. Yeah. Interesting. Yes. What is acrylic wash? Well, you've got this. You want to hand me some of the secret weapon washes off of your desk, Shannis? I know you've got them over there. I tossed them all over for you. It's the, uh, I think they should have the white lids. It's mine with the white lids instead of the black lids. The black lids are my paints. Whoops. That's Reaper. Secret weapon wash. No, that's paint. That's paint. Oh, black. I can come take a peek, kid. It Hold might up. be easier uh, for me to Bottom buy. row right here, Seamus. And for that matter, while I'm at it, one of the Sorry. normal things for me to do, of course, is use my inks. Woo, Thomas, thank you very much. All right, so we've got one of the... Dark sepia and cool earth. Dark sepia, so... Or cool gray. Yeah, Mario, happy to do it. I didn't realize that's what they were. Yeah, I had the opportunity to play around with them um, for a bit. Uh, the viscosity is a little weird for me, but they still work. Yeah, it worked fine. So if you like the contrast paints, I'm going to recommend that you try the secret weapon secret washes. Secret weapon washes? Uh, I realize I'm biased, uh, but the secret weapon washes were originally a Lester Bursley product um, from Awesome Paint Job. And I was doing uh, army commissions all the time when he decided to stop making them. It turns out he was making them one bottle at a time. And uh, he posted recipes that included drops of the Dollar Running inks, which is one of my favorite mediums, always has been, always will be. Um... And uh, even though they were public, I asked uh, permission to sell them commercially, got his permission, put his name on the bottles. Um, not that these are still very visible, but he's on here. Ooh, yeah, he's on that one somewhere. Uh, these are all of our old labels where they were less quality than they are now. Uh, yeah, there he is. Less original washes used with permission. Oh, got me on camera, though. But that's, yeah, less original washes used with permission. So while I might be biased, um, I promote the secret weapon washes um, with less bias than you may think because Lester did a great job coming into this. And, uh, yeah, um, I'll show the difference real quick between my brown and this purple. So there's the purple from Contrast. And here's the dark sepia. For mine, I can uh, do a quick... 
Mm. Hunting for what? Oh, something else. Oh, hey, look, I have three of these. Oh my gosh, that's great because this is a perfect one to do this with. So I'm going to take my dark sepia over a section here. I can actually just go drop. I'm use my big brush and I'm going to just spread it out over about half and watch how. Flow, 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 flow. All right, now I'm going to put my contrast. Can I get a liner? Yeah. <laughs> like the other awesome thing. All right, let me get some of this on the brush. Got to go hunting for it. See, it's a lot thicker. Papa, how does this go? Can you go like this? Uh. Oh, tracks. Well, you can do the tracks separately, but you need to do all the wheels in there first. So look at the instructions. It'll show you how to do those wheels. No, it doesn't. Look. All the road wheels go in. If you'd like to build a leaving rust together after this, I would totally do that. I've got one hour to go. I don't even have a Lehman Rust started right here on my desk. So. You don't have to with the other one. No, that's the brand new Martian Menace. You get a 40 uh, That milliliter? was the brand new Martian Menace. Uh, derg, 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 derg. Yeah. Here's all the things. Papa, it just says to put the track in. Oh, that's right. There's no road wheels anymore. They, uh, we have very different Lehman Rust kits. Yes, I forgot. You have old school. Um, yeah, I'm, I have old school Lehman Rust. So when they announced they were getting rid of the uh, uh, old Lehman Rust with the ind individual track links, um, I might have gone out and bought that. One. He did. Trust me, he did. I have seen about at least 20 Lehman Rust. Baby Poop Brown is pretty awesome. I'm a big fan of Cotton Candy Pink. And uh, yeah, the um, secret weapon washes, or the less original washes, um, either way you look at them, um, were also meant to be base coat glaze. I would do it as a three-step process, um, which meant I didn't have to mix my glazes. I could just shade, 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 um, three steps, all of my models on a stick. When I'm doing armies, tape everything to a paint stick. So I've got five guys on here at a time, and I could literally just glaze, 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 glaze. Place, place, place. Boom. Move backward. Turn around. Keep going. And they were perfect. They saved me so much time um, that, like I said, I wasn't going to paint in a world without them. Just bring the whole bag over for me. I put a drop of the dollar around. Thank you, little that does. I'm being very careful. Oh, you're good. Thank you so very much. Of course, what I want is my own. It's not your fault. That's mine. Wow. She chose something less aggressive than blue. Oh my gosh. Thin it down. It was a very aggressive blue. Hmm. I want to take over. But yeah, no problem. And of course, we've already seen that with some primer, uh, Jess has glazed these. Uh, glazed this one. This is all glazing and dry brushing. Yeah, baby poop is uh, hands down our top seller there. So here, here we'll get you. What's baby poop? It's a color that we sell. I mean, you know what baby poop is, right? Ugh. It's what that color. color. Do you think it is. Ugh. Uh, Ugh, that's an accurate. <laughs> that is what. It's color an accurate that is. statement. Papa, why yes, don't you let me take my, your phone by myself? Okay, yeah, I'd like it right now, please. All right, so I'm playing mm -hmm. around we'll with the. Uh, some Reaper Clear Bright and Green Liner. So I've got my Clear Bright Yellow and my Green Liner. I don't have a sock. <laughs> I you can see that it's falling into all of the lovely recesses. That's a lot of... Yeah, 
really, really, really dig. You can still see all the stonework. Yeah, I know we have the lights still floating around, but they got buried in the last broadcast. But they went back from here. With everything else going on, I didn't have a chance to reload and reorganize. Here's a proper look at one of the Blood Bowl sets. Oh, pff. I know I can't find them. I put them somewhere easy to find. Pardon my reach. Uh -huh. Kiddo. I'll say this. You're a little bit silly and a little bit stupid. Uh, thank you. It's time for you to go. Sorry. James, it's time for you to go. What? James. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Camus, thank you. Bye-bye. So, I just blopped some paint on there. Uh, Here, I'll uh, yeah. adjust uh, focus, and that way you can get it close to the camera. And I'll refocus for you. There we go. So, this is the Martian Menace, yes? Yes. Yes. Um, and I did a Reaper Clear Bright Yellow, a green liner, and a little bit of Succubus Kiss, and just added some water and glazed it in. And you can still see the original color underneath, but I've added some really interesting, uh, uh, very Jess-like color palette to this. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's that easy. Um, just to customize and weather and do some interesting things with them if you want to. And Eric, yes, uh, absolutely. As long as you pledge uh, in the next, what, 50-odd minutes here, um, that gets you access to the Pledge Manager pricing, uh, full access to all of the themes that we've unlocked, which is everything. Um, yeah, and uh, yeah, as long as you lock in for a dollar today, um, before noon Pacific time, so in the next hour, as long as you lock in for a dollar, you get the Kickstarter pricing. Everyone who comes in, once we open it up to the public, uh, for late pledges, it's going to say 20% more than you are, and retail is going to be a lot more than that. So yeah, if you've got friends out there that are on the fence, um, push them, push them off the fence. So here's one too, where Jess just added some drops of, uh, I think that was the dollar on the right? Um, yeah. Just some drops of Dollarani Red to make it a bit more bloody. Because of but, course I did. Of course you did. Uh, but here's one where I took just a black wash to the uncolored um, mosaic burst blank. Now, Every Little War did this for me uh, with no color passes so that we could show these off. And the same thing, I put a wash over the sewer grate on this one to show you guys how that works. And these are old prototypes, but I'll show them off because they're still fun. Uh, we are still finalizing um, on one to two wood themes. We've got flavors that we're playing with and options. Now these are old prototypes, so even this one looks a lot different now. But the priority has been uh, getting new prototypes out instead of focusing on uh, finalizing the ones we have because we have time for that. Um, and that way, as each theme is finished, we'll start printing those and move on to the next one. And yeah, we got time. it's going to be great. Yeah, that colorless base, being able to show off that texture is just... Yeah. So easy to see. I mean, we can get you to hear it, too. I mean, that's... <laughs> hey, Dan. <laughs> Shades of baby poop. I hope not, with all the violets and reds you use. I was going to say. I'm very worried about this baby. Cult of teal and purple forever. Mostly it's just greens. Hmm. <laughs> um, so bases, 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 bases. Numbers, numbers, numbers. Is this working? Hmm. We have new images in the folder. We have new images in the folder. What, what, what? Time for more naming. Get everyone excited. Baby. We're 
trying, we're trying. Get back in. Or stream. <laughs> so, <laughs> trying to refresh the folder. <laughs> it's always something. Couple of these, one of those, five. Hmm. I'm going to check the other folder. Jess? No. Do we have permission to show off Fractal Jess? Um, all there is is the TIFF file. Yep. Let me find out. Oh, I suspect he's watching. Aren't you, Major Tom? <laughs> all right, keyboard is off. I will. Uh, Keep asking Dropbox, uh, Dropbox to refresh us. It's so exciting. We want to see the stuff. All right, so. Sinking. Aha. Two files. Aha. Refresh my folder. Tokyo Tatami. Well, I can show you a good image now of Tokyo Tatami. I did two files. Yep. Okay. Which two files, Dropbox? There's the Tatami. Yeah, that's the Tokyo Tatami. I see one. You sort by recent? Oh, uh, there it is. There it is. There it oh, is. Okay. yeah. All right. Woo! All right. So here we go. Here are the new ones for you. Forgotten Tomb. Fresh off the printers. That's hot. I am totally okay with that. Um, and yes, we can show off uh, cool. Fractal Jess. Um, uh, and here it is, Tokyo Tatami. Which is so pretty. Yeah, this is another one where the night size base, we're not going to be able to cover yeah. that up. We, well, that's not entirely true. We can probably arrange um, the seams to help with that, you know, put the seams in a corner there. Um, but I also don't imagine there will be a lot of knights in side Japanese houses. It's a very specific size. <laughs> All right, but let's see. And here's the one uh, Jess was playing with. People were asking about uh, um, yeah, you something more chaosy. And this is just the color pass. Yes. So, so what do you guys think of that? That's what my brain comes up with. Uh, and Jan, um, in terms of EU orders being shipped from the UK, um, that's the plan for the moment, uh, because at the moment it would still save you money over VAT if we shipped them from there. Um, that situation is still fluid, uh, and we are working with uh, Reefer Miniatures, um, who is our UK partner, of course. Uh, they have a facility there. Mm -hmm. uh, we're working with them uh, at the moment, um, also keeping an eye on how fluid that situation is for everybody. And since we're looking at shipping um, in about eight months, uh, a lot of things are going to be different. And we will continue to work with our EU uh, backers to make sure we're giving you the best possible option. Um, and certainly, uh, yeah, we'll be on top of that, um, all of us. Uh, it's too important at this point trying to figure out, uh, yeah, what the, the UK uh, is going to look like uh, in eight months when it comes to uh, shipping to the EU. And if it turns out that's not the best answer for everybody, we'll do something differently. Absolutely. Well, let's come back to, so these are the themes we have unlocked during the campaign. These were all created by Major Tom during the campaign, printed by Eric uh, at Every Little War during the campaign. Uh, they've been working around the clock to bring these themes. These are things that 
uh, you guys have been asking for and we are pushing hard to get that done so we have the bazaar which let's see we have marrakesh market eastern market persian bazaar and alhambra sunset i like all of these we have the blasted wetlands theme this is an early prototype just to make sure that the uh, color and texture was going to work for us and that'll be uh, a little more curated uh, as we continue of course but there was a lot of requests for swamp, so we had to do something swampy. This is the castle dungeon theme. Again, lots of requests for um, uh, something dungeony, something castle-y, so try and give you both. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me, Patrick is asking, um, is there a plan for possibly doing display boards with the base sizes cut out? Uh, yes, it's certainly something that we've talked about. Um, it's something I would very much like to do. Um, but that means getting new tools and that'll probably be either a separate campaign for us um, or a reflection of how well this does uh, well now and, and post campaign. We're definitely looking at um, what funds are going to look like uh, from what we've raised here to see what we can do with those um, to expand this line. Expanding this line is very important uh, to all of us. Um, we very much like to do that. All right, so um, let's see, who was it? Uh, so Chris, you said that it looked busy, so um, I've gone ahead and added a photo to Dropbox so you could see what it would look like on a night-sized base as opposed to just looking at the full image. And is that in the, uh, the forecast? Yes. So there's a night-sized mask. Pigmented pandemonium. <laughs> Tiled hell. Thanks, guys. <laughs> I love it. All right. Uh, Fork Stream, where were we? We were showing off. We just did the uh, dungeon. Lots of requests for more dungeons and temples. So, again, Forgotten all of these created during the campaign, um, especially just over the uh, uh, welcome, last few Chris. days as Every Little War and Major Tom have been kicking butt getting these out there. All right. So, this is uh, Forgotten Tomb. This is now uh, Hunting Grounds, and oh man, that fern. It's so unreal. It looks like I could just sink into it. I know. Yeah. And this is, again, another one where uh, if you're just trying to upgrade your uh, captains or your heavy hitters, um, your frontline tyrannids or something, uh, putting on some of our um, uh, tree stumps, um, some of our leaf litter, oh my god, it's going to make these just jump. Yes. That's one I can't wait to get my hands on. I want to play with that. This is God, the I love this one so theme. much. So many great names for this one. We've got to move so many bases to get to them. Let's see. Scrapyard, Wrecking Yard, Rusted Earth, Fallout Ground, Oxidase, Industrial Waste, Mars Manufactorum, Tetanus Field, and Ferris Ground, which is still I my favorite. still I really dig Ferris. Ferris Ground. Well, that's going to give us two for Ferris Ground right there anyway. And that's... Yeah. Though tetanus field for me is a <laughs> close second. Well, I've got to admit, oxy days. I'm like, yeah. yeah. That's, just makes it, ooh, corrupt glass. Ooh, corrupt glass. I like. That's all right. All right. So a watercolor have... set inspired from Jess. Ooh. The new sewer theme. That could certainly happen. I could do that, Chris. I could absolutely do that. Yeah, that would be fun. And then the uh, sewers, which we have uh, Evolvent Sewers, Victorian Sewers, Verdant Sewer, Sewer Park, Slimy Sewer, Mossy Sewer, and Asylum Sewer. And same here, Jeffrey. Same here. Never really been a fan of basing. <laughs> well, which is funny, um, because I was originally buying resin bases because I was like, man, basing sucks. Um, I don't want to do any basing. And, of course, I wasn't happy with what I was getting, so I started making my own. The rest is history. Now I've made thousands and thousands of bases and I still sit back and I'm like man hmm unless it's a big piece like when I'm doing a you know a little display socket or something I I can get really into that all right but so all the little fiddly ones I'm like oh this is gonna save me so much I'll so so much more for the sewer theme is that textured grass moss I believe yes. so yes it is yes it is that's why uh major Tom chose that close-up so you can see that nice little speckly texture um on top of those bricks right there Ooh, so Undercity Road is interesting. I like the idea of Undercity. I do. Uh, this is one, though, where, again, we get a lot of searches for sewer, sewer. bases. Yeah. So we wanted to have something that was very clearly sewer, sewer something. 
Undercity Sewer. Oh, Undercity Sewer. I like that. And let's see, what was the next one? What's the next one? Ah, Frozen Plains. Yep. Again, there were so many people asking for snow, and Major Tom and Eric spent a lot of time working on this one. Uh, it was his, I think it was five um, actual prototype print runs um, before Tom uh, was happy with it and wanted me to see it. Um, and this is like out of the park good. Uh, I originally thought, I said, I'm like, there's no way we can pull off snow. And I was so happy to be wrong. I like being wrong. That's nice. Ooh. And then, of course, after uh, snow, we have the Tokyo Tatami. I like the King's Highway, Jeffrey, but I think we really were kind of married to the idea of having sewer in the name. Yeah, this one. Uh, and it, calling it the King's Sewer would be weird. King's <laughs> I do like it, though. And of course. And yes, absolutely, Dan, that would make a lovely sandstone. Oh, yeah. We have. And this is still waiting for approval from Corvus Belly. But we have the new Red Veil prototype. This has been rescaled and uh, actually fits the size <laughs> of the board now. Uh, Eric at Every Little War. Um, uh, well, I'm sorry, Major Tom has the boards, Eric has the boards, We're checking it out, making sure everything's scaled right. Fair point, Mario. Goblin King's sewer, I like that. <laughs> it could actually be fun. Good. I'm not going to worry about the size of labels. It's so tricky to be creative and fit it into a label. So yeah, these themes uh, all created during the campaign uh, based on your feedback. I really love that one. Yeah, kind of giddy. Kind of madly in love with that one. I initially thought it was just a different color pass over Mosaic first. No. No, once I saw it on the screen, no, like, it's oh, the no, pattern. this is totally different. This is, wow. Yeah. And Blasted Wetlands. Between that and Hunting Grounds. Yeah. Castle Dungeon. Yeah, Castle Dungeon and Sewer Something are the two that are uh, very much named by search engine optimization needs. <laughs> <laughs> we can capture those uh, searches. Forgotten Tomb. Oh, my phone lit up. Do we have a message from Tom? I'm looking right now. Hunting Grounds. Rusty. Well, currently Ferris Ground. The Sewers. The Snow. And Tokyo Tatami. All made during the campaign. Because you wanted them. Of course you did. Fractal Jess is being printed ASAP. Oh, no kidding. <laughs> All right. Well, Fractal Jess is being printed. Uh, that's a hoot. Well, uh, thank you, Every Little War. Uh, I know you're out there, so thank you very thank much. Thank you so much, Eric. And, uh, and Tom. <laughs> that's fine. Yes, and absolutely Tom. With Without uh, without the groundwork that Tom laid for me, Fractal Jess would not be happening. Yeah, because that is a uh, different color pass um, for yes. the Fractal Blacks. And yeah, that'll be neat to see. And of course, it comes back to the possibility we've discussed uh, in other videos and such um, about the possibility of doing um, short run uh, artist specific themes, um, inviting folks like Jess to revisit the um, theme of their choice, um, make it their own. Uh, because in that case, we don't have to create an entirely new uh, texture pass. Um, it's just the color passes, which makes it easier for the artist because then it's Photoshop, um, just colors, which Mm -hmm. most uh, miniature artists can do because we yes. have to. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah, I love the idea of reaching out to artists in our community. I did some of that at Adepticon last year. I will continue to do so. Well, because I want um, that in purple, teal, and beige. Oh, well, of course you do. <laughs> <laughs> Who's surprised? Yeah. But, yeah, I'd, like, I'd love to know, like, what's Ben going to do with this, you know, or Wapple or... Oh, Ben and Wapple would have very different takes. But if this isn't at some point a glowing magenta pile of goo then the world is sad and again real texture Super durable yeah
Well, Mario, I think for the castle one, we're already going with Castle Dungeon. Castle Dungeon. Search Engine, Search Engine was a little obvious, so we went with Castle Dungeon. Um, in regards to Red Veil, um, I don't believe we can do Blue Veil right now. We have four themes uh, from Corvus Belly that we're working on. Um, so. And I remember what those were. Um, Red Veil, Ice Storm. Those are the two I always remember. Let me get my folder. Alas, Fractal Jess will not be ready for the broadcast. Uh, I am not surprised. We've got about 30 minutes. Yeah, that would be that would be really impressive. <laughs> that would be really impressive. Well, I uploaded the color pass like an hour and a half ago. So, yeah, I'd be like, well, okay. He's out there <laughs> kicking butt, making bases for you yes. guys. You've got to love it. <laughs> Thank you, Eric, very much. All right, some more questions about the bases. Should we play with other stuff, talk about other stuff? Hypothetically, I'm also supposed to be working on a Lehman Russ for charity, but that seems like a lot of work. Well, here's a conversion I did a long time ago. I was actually thinking about replacing my Lehman Russ for charity with this thing. So a chimera that I made. Uh... Oh, and so the four infinity oh. themes are Wildfire, Ice Storm, Red Veil, and Cold Front. That's right. Thank you. So yeah, detailed this one up, converted it. Some more fun chimera, gave it a cloth cover. New handles. <laughs> Charles wants to know what happened Strats to the weathering. Roots. We've given up on the weathering. We can do the weathering. We can come back to the weathering. Thomas just says, show me the bases. <laughs> All right. So here's that weathering we did earlier, the big mucky dust piles. Now, here's the fun part of this. As I did it heavy on purpose, because, again, I used isopropyl, which over acrylic would have made this rubbish. But this is durable plastic. So all of the tiles that were previously black are still intact, and you have all of the grime and dust in between them, which is hot. And then here's the contrast paint from originally, and the secret weapon wash. Uh, but then we took this one, and did it more heavily with the secret weapon wash on one end, and the contrast paint on the other. And then too much blue. And I'm with you, Thomas. I would actually like to be working on my uh, fancy goblin, which is entirely for myself. This handsome gent right here is the goblin engineer from Industria Mechanica. He is one-to-one -one scale, so he's actually meant to be displayed with actual trash. So It's before and after. Oh, you found the veggies. I did. I like it. Yeah, me too. I might have to weather this one out. I'm just sitting here. How would I actually do this? What would I want to do with you? Sponge me. Can you sponge me? Uh, down. Uh, yeah. Uh, or, are there any uh, blisters in there? Oh, yeah, yeah, right there. Perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. So, yeah, I can uh, absolutely look at... Uh, doing a watercolor color pass. That would be awesome. And yes, uh, they would totally, uh, the tatami mats would go excellent with uh, peepers, uh, turtles. I can read, I just uploaded from Tom. We haven't, I just uploaded something. Mm -hmm. Oops, sorry. Dabbing off camera. All themes are on the image floor. Awesome. Thank you, Mitch Tom. Thank you, Tom. This is ground control to Major Tom. You're really kicking butt. I'll stop doing this now because it's awkward. <laughs> it's not bad at all. <laughs> Patrick, it is not bad at all. No, it's not bad at all. And I'll tell you what, I'm in the same boat. I've been waiting for Plastic Sisters for so long. Um, so very, 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 very long. Year, 15 years at this point, and, uh, at least. They are my favorite. Um, I have an all-metal Sisters of Battle army. Um, I have so many metal sisters. Um, 
But yeah, I've just been giddy and waiting. And when I saw him come out, I was like, all right, they're perfect, but I can resist. I have so many unpainted models and I haven't played in so long, but I am weak. And if they were still shipping, I would be working on sisters. No doubt about it. So in this case, uh, for the weathering, and I'm still using the pigments that come with the uh, $100 and $200 pledges. And I'm actually just dabbing. If I don't like the finish, I can wipe some away. So there's your question for weathering one of those. We'll let that dry for a minute. And I understand since I just heard that all the images have been updated. Let me make sure that's... Whoa! Holy smokes! Yeah! Yeah! So that we can run through them all, all be right. excited. Strap in, folks. We're going for a wild ride. This is a tour of all of the bases. Dun, dun, dun. Well, that's bizarre. How bizarre. Why How not? bizarre. A little bizarre, I guess. Oh, a sister's kill team. See, that's what I should be doing. All right. The Blasted Wetlands. Also created during the campaign. Bloody Pitch. Pfft, bloody Pitch. <laughs> Clean Pitch. And yes, we will be working on... Um, pitch bundles uh, for Blood Bowl players. Um, if you're on the fence about it, remember to pledge for a dollar now. It gets you access to the pledge manager. Um, yeah, you'll have access to the pledge manager, the Kickstarter pricing for the whole time that the pledge manager is open until we're ready to ship. Everyone who comes in late, uh, more than 30 minutes from now, anyone who comes in at 32 minutes after, uh, well, they're going to be sad because they're going to pay at least 20% more than you are. And then it's going to go up from there when we hit retail in uh, probably March. So we will be bundling, we will be prototyping, all of that as we finish up here and get ready to ship. And we'll be showing off all of the changes and upgrades and finalizations and curating each of the base sets. It's going to be a lot of work. And yeah, we'll keep you appraised. This, of course, is Dark Circuit. We've been able to show off that one in person today. Desert Mesa. Yep. And that's one that's absolutely one of my faves. I can't. It's just, hmm. you know what, I'm going to uh, Do we have a different turn us off. Uh, Chris Layfield has a question. Uh, development panel land for the upcoming releases. Uh, how do you mean? I mean, yes, but. <laughs> the castle dungeon theme also created during the campaign. The flight deck theme, which we've also been able to show offline. Mm -hmm. Forgotten Tomb. And this one's also fresh off the printer. Figured I'd let them see the whole thing. They don't need us. Fractal Black. Imperial Halls. Now, Imperial Halls, if you haven't already caught it, um, works uh, with the Silent Halls and the Ruined Temple bases. Um, they'll line up. Uh, both with the resin versions and the other plastic versions. Oh, just got a new image. What do we have? What do we have? What do we have? Well, let's go from Imperial Halls to Cold Front. This is one of the Infinity prototypes, of course. That one just makes me giddy. Ice Storm. Uh, 
Oh, and yes, Chris, uh, we do have a, a pipeline plan for additional themes. Um, not showing it at this time because we're not sure what that process is going to look going into this. Um, the work that we have ahead of us uh, is still a process that we've got to figure out. Once we know what that uh, process looks like, um, our priority is making sure that we can do uh, regular releases, um, still listen to the community, make sure that we're doing um, some of the curated uh, artist uh, recolors, uh, things like that. So I love Fractal Black too. Um, I think Eldar. I'm not saying there's a game from some company that has stuff like that, but it's like that. Mm -hmm. Now this one, the wildfire theme, I just, <laughs> I can't even look at that water. It's just out of this world. It, it's unreal. And the texture we can get, uh, the object source lighting. Here, of course, is Hunting Grounds. Thank you all for helping name it. I guess that was Monday. Yeah. Time flies. Well, I've got to come back to Hunting Grounds for a minute, because that fern, I just, ah. Ah. Lava flow. Martian menace. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, Mrs. is checking in to see if yeah. my son can take uh, is your battery good? my phone on a po pokey walk. There you go. Mild means. So we have Martian Menace. Mosaic Burst. We've seen a lot of that. Uh, Miniature Mayhem. Uh, how long will you have to make our selections? Um, we will close the uh, Pledge Manager. Oh, shipping in January, and that's December. Uh, likely early to mid-November. Um, We'll be looking at our uh, logistics printing process at the time. Um, obviously, when we uh, uh, keep it open, um, it increases the possibility that we're going to have to do additional orders uh, for fulfillment um, from Reaper. We'd like to get all those bases up front, including everything that we'd need to get um, a retail release done in March. Um, so I would expect to close this in uh, November. The Rolling Fields theme. And I love this one. I was originally opposed to doing just grass and dirt, but this is tremendous. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Burst. It's definitely a mosaic <laughs> burst. Uh, actually, uh, Jetta, the color scheme for Mosaic Burst, and I'll go back for this one. Um, Major Tom was very careful. He went looking for uh, famous mosaics, um, found some good uh, real-world examples, and we wanted to make sure that the first mosaic that we did um, really had a visual impact. Um, so this is actually inspired by a very real uh, mosaic floor. Um, and we do have the you know simpler bizarre floor uh, now, um, but wanted to be able to demonstrate something that this technology makes fairly unique, which is the ability to create something this intricate and textured without losing your mind. Because <laughs> uh, you could do it, um, but oh my gosh, why Why would you want to? Yes, exactly, Jeffrey. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, definitely. Uh, for the mosaic, how would you paint a figure to contrast that very loud palette of the base? Um, that's a good question. I don't know that you would have to. Um, you could either, uh, well, just like any other uh, base, either have them stand out um, through contrast, um, opposing, or blending colors. Um, Harlequins would not look out of place on this, even with all of their uh, uh, bright colors. Um, by the same token, uh, you know, dark booted marines would not look bad on this. Uh, yeah, it's a good way to get figures to stand out. Um, just treat this as you would any other, you know, bright base instead of a dark base. Um, something else that I would do. Can we have a yeah. top down? You are off. I don't need to be here. Oh, I know. Oh, okay. Uh, brush, please. So, <laughs> not... 
That was us camera anyway. All right, so something. I did actually brush it. Something else that you can do to make sure that your model stands out, um, if you're worried about the contrast here, is this is some of Reaper's gray liner. There's entirely too much gray liner on there. So it came out thick, but creating a simple shadow underneath your model while it's on this mosaic will help center it and frame the figure on the base, which already has its own black frame on the outside. So. Excellent. I like that. All right, so we'll go back to, here's the ruined temple theme. And again, the lines on these are compatible with the lines on Imperial Halls and Silent Halls. So you can mix it up, folks. Mix it up. Mix it up. They totally would be, Jeffrey. Yep. Hassle-free harem figures would look great on these. Ooh, Ferris Ground. Again, created during the campaign, based on your feedback and requests. Thank you all very much. And just a reminder, there's 20 minutes left to pledge. If you're uh, still joining us, now is the time to do it. Do it, do it, do it. Five new files. I don't know what they are, but I'm going to keep going. Here we have the sewer theme. I didn't realize how much we needed to have this until it was done. It's, like, how could we no, not have done this first? It's absolutely it's just, beautiful. Ah. Yeah, it's completely beautiful. Love it. Ah, shoreline. <laughs> Speaking of things that are a pain in the butt to do on your onesies. Water bases. Sand. Yep. It's beautiful. Have we gotten to lava flow? We passed lava flow. Oh, passed lava flow. I'm multitasking. Yes. And of course, Silent Halls. We've seen a lot of that today. It's so good. Yeah, Patrick, the, I love the shoreline too. It's just gorgeous. And of course, uh, Frozen Plains. Oh yeah, the Deep Kid. Oh, heck yeah. Thank you, Patrick. What a great idea. Oh, yeah, these were pretty much tailor-made for that. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'd love to see a diorama on one of these. That'd be great. The Tokyo Tatami theme, also made during the campaign. Twenty-five minutes to go. Is that what it says? Twenty-five minutes to go. Twenty-five minutes to go. We're in the home stretch. You guys are amazing. Ah, oh, Town Square. I don't get tired of seeing this one. There is a blooper from one of the videos we were trying to make where I uh, sat down at the table. I'm like, hey, folks, Mr. Justin here with Secret Weapon Miniatures. And I'm really tired of seeing these bases. <laughs> I had done like four hours of video that day and uh, so many takes to try and get this one like minute and a half segment right. <laughs> Oh, it was great, but I do not get tired of seeing the. I'm town never, Square. I'm never tired of seeing Town Square. If you'll notice, when I did my uh, videos, if you guys check them out, they're on the Secret Weapon Miniatures YouTube channel. Um, I use Town Square uh, for I think like four out of six demonstrations because I really like this base set. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, and it's perfect on the tabletop. I mean, it's just. It's so Mordheim. Yeah. Well, and the depth when you're looking at it. it yes. It, yeah, just wow. <laughs> uh, under Factory. Okay, Under Factory is still my favorite, but it's those greats. I mean, I just yeah. I can't. Yep. There's so much visual depth there, too. Oh, yes. And this was the first very successful lava and object source lighting, and they are just hot. urban streets. Now, for those of you familiar with the uh, Tablescapes tiles of yesteryear, um, 
this design was actually taken directly from those tiles. And so if you're one of those few lucky enough to have one of our Urban Streets tile sets, uh, well, we talked about making um, bases that would match. And these are them. <laughs> these are exactly them. So this brings the uh, Tablescapes tiles batch uh, back to the world. And, and yeah, when they head on their walk, we should fix that for the final here. Um, but yeah, Urban Streets, it's just... Ah, uh, yeah, they're so good. Now these are the wood plank themes we're still prototyping. Um, this is a more recent print. So not the ones I have in front of me, but you can see that the uh, dark wood lightened up. And we're still uh, looking at um, applications uh, for this and how we're gonna finish um, Probably two of these. Uh, right now, if you're looking at the four, uh, my feeling is that we're going to produce the uh, bottom left and top right of uh, those uh, two wood themes. Um, but yeah, obviously, as we uh, get these finished, we'll uh, um, talk to you folks in our community to see which ones you love and what you're going to want to see. And that looks like we've gone through the whole thing. But now I have these models. Which, oh my gosh, that looks so good. That looks insanely awesome. I mean, come on! Now, uh, credit where credit is due, I believe this is one of uh, Israel Rigardi's pieces. Yeah, these next few are from uh, Israel Rigardi. Um, incredible Bay Area miniature painter. Uh, does a lot of really amazing Tao. A very talented fella. and uh, friends with uh, Eric at Every Little War, uh, who asked us if we would be willing to let him have some samples uh, so that he would put models on them for us. And of course we want to see models on these. Um, I mean, wow. I'm not gonna be the top down cam again, so I'm gonna move it. Israel Sanchez, excuse me. Israel Gardi is an entirely different guy. <laughs> Next one. Indeed, Mario. Yeah, Israel's a great guy. God, whatever reason, I confused him with an author in my head. I have books from Israel Rigardi. Don't know why he's on my mind today. Yeah, another one of his awesome Tao on Tao, the dark circuit bases. Yes. And you can see there, for anyone who had questions again about the super glue, that these are just glued right on and yay! Mm-hmm. I like that. Mm-hmm. Now here's a fun view. So many bases! The incredible selection of themes is just, yeah. Maybe you want some individual views or smaller views of snow, silent halls, Ferris crown, fractal black, castle dungeon, and what is it, forgotten tomb? Family on their pokey walk. Running out. Okay. Oh my gosh. Down into the final 19 minutes. Ah! Oh. Look at them. Love them. 
hugged them, squeezed them, called them George. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, and so many new backers coming in here at the end. Thank you all so much for joining us uh, on the live broadcast. We're dragging your friends out to join us. Um, watching the backer number tick up, watching the pledge level tick up. Uh, 18 minutes to go. Getting very excited, obviously. More bases. Yeah, the ruined temple is, it really blows my mind that uh, they were able to catch the texture that we have on our resin bases uh, to such a close degree. It's just tremendous. Granted, of course, the diamond plate on the uh, flight deck one in the bottom center uh, ain't too shabby either, or the grass, or the tatami, and of course that honeycomb on the dark circuit, it's all... Ah, uh, we went into this with uh, high hopes and expectations, uh, and it's always nice when you get through a project like this, and after so much effort, it's better than you were hoping for, better than you were aiming for. And uh, yeah, hats off again to Major Tom and every little war for making that a reality. And of course, I mean, the new hunting grounds based in the bottom center um, created during the campaign based on your requests and your feedback. Uh, wow. Shoreline with its moving water. I'm going to coat a gloss over that. Um, I'm going to pop. Base tastic bases. The new sewer is great. And of course, ah, uh, Under Factory is still one of my favorites. The grading on there is out of this world. 16 minutes. So we're down to the last 16 minutes here, folks. If you've got friends on the fence, go grab them, drag them over. And Chris, thank you very much. We will be well. Thank you for the congrats. We're closing up here in 16 minutes. Jess is making the final victory Manhattans right now. It is going to be so great. Oh, and Mario, I can't wait to see what you can do with these. That's going to be awesome. Now, here are some of Major Tom's models on the bases. Giving you an idea of the versatility. Ooh. And every time I see this image, I really want to make a uh, Gene Steeler cult. <laughs> Better prep a victory drink. Oh, well, uh, mm, uh, Manhattan's made with uh, Templeton rye. Broke we are ready to stuff. go. Uh, we have 15 minutes. Oh, my gosh. 15 minutes. Here we go. Ah, all right. Back to the window. Back to the models. All right. And again, these were uh, painted up by Major Tom. This little guy. If Wally were a jerk. And of course that Blood Angels Terminator just seems like made for this. Yes. I'm not saying Space Hulk, but Space Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> It's such a perfect uh, Space Hulk image that, yeah. If I were going to make a base for that guy, that's what it would look like. And now I don't have to. That's the, really the best part of this. Is like, they're ready to go. I really think I'm going to play more because I don't have to base each of my models. And because, particularly when I'm using the secret weapon resin bases, I put so much care into making sure they're perfect because I can't show off, you know, a poor version of my product going out. Yeah. Now I could be like, no, no, I actually just glued my guys to these. That'll be awesome. 
keep little bags from my pocket. No, no, you don't like basing here, man. Here's a yeah. sample pack. First one's free. <laughs> so do we want to uh, go over the names one more time? Yeah, let's do it. Let's head over all of the themes. Zibiza. Blasted Wetlands. And again, both of these made during the campaign based on your feedback, based on your requests. Bloody Pitch. Clean Pitch. Which I imagine is mostly for people who want to add their own blood. <laughs> Maybe they have a very polite Blood Bowl team. Yes. Maybe it's like my Amazons, and I only bleed on other people's bases because we haven't won a match yet. <laughs> All right, Dark Circuit. Was it your Amazons last night against my Nurgle? Yeah. No, it was my Orcs against <laughs> That was your Nurgle. Orcs against Nurgle. I'm still getting handed. Desert Mesa. Literally made me gasp the first time I saw this one. Like what? No. Yeah, that looks amazing. I'm there. I'm immediately Especially on there. The table. Yeah. That two or three foot rule, it just comes alive. It's so good. Castle Dungeon. Also known as SEO Stone. And again, these are quick prototypes just to make sure you guys get to see them during the campaign. As we curate the individual base sizes, everything's going to improve. Flight deck. Complete with object source lighting. Non-metal metallics. Which and the, and the still treads, hurts my head. The yeah. little, like, tire tread yeah. marks. It's Fantastic just... Fantastic detailing. I, I mean, I've painted these bases because we make a flight deck base. <laughs> this is inspired by our existing flight deck bases. And... I've painted so many of those, and yet I still look at this, and I'm like, wow, the work that would take. All right. Forgotten Tomb. Because we're down to, what, like 10 minutes? 11 minutes. 11 minutes. Oh, my gosh. It's the last 11 minutes. This is your chance. If you haven't already pledged, get in there. You've got 11 minutes to lock in the Kickstarter pricing. Once the Kickstarter closes, it's going to be 20% more for late backers when we open it up to them. And then, of course, once it goes to retail, <laughs> more still. So this is your last chance to save. Um, we're aiming to ship in January. Everything is being manufactured in the U.S., so we're still on target. Fractal Black. And, of course, it looks like we might have a Fractal Jess theme as well, which is going to be fun. The first of our artist-curated color sets. Imperial Halls, compatible with Silent Halls and Ruined Temple. Our four infinity themes, Cold Front, Ice Storm, and yeah, I'll admit I can't wait to base my Ice Storm guys on my Ice Storm bases and put them on my Ice Storm board and have a little Ice Storm party. It's going to be great. <laughs> I'm so excited. I've never actually been this excited about having a board before, <laughs> where I'm like, oh, I have the Ice Storm set. I've been meaning to open that and use it. Yes, this is my perfect chance. And yeah, it is. And I'm giddy and I can't wait. And yeah, as long as we can alleviate that basing step uh, some of the time, if not all of the time, where you take these uh, as is and then, you know, add some uh, secret weapon resin accessories to upgrade your captains and heavy hitters and whatnot. Wildfire is still my favorite of the Infinity themes. Wildfire is, well, I, I mean, I'll go back for a second. It's either Cold Front because that object source lighting and the texturing for me, um, or Wildfire because yeah. uh, the texture and then the water. Yeah. is out of this world and the fact that the you know 12 is caught so perfectly in the base here i mean that's just it's perfect yep. it is it is perfect um and yeah as eric yes says, exactly eric. Specialize. hunting grounds with thanks to olivier for naming hunting grounds here and then we can also make one more pass to see if anyone has any more last shout out names Love. The Menace. Mosaic Burst. Oh, oh, I see. Ha! Huh. Yep. It is oh, no! Mosaic Burts. <laughs> Thomas wasn't just joking. 
It is Mosaic Burt's. Well, this is the Mosaic Burt's theme. <laughs> well, that's embarrassing. Well, this is what happens when you have uh, six people looking at the same copy over and over again, and no one noticed. Yep. Rolling fields. <laughs> Ruined Temple. Ah, uh, yes. I'm a big fan. Now, the original resins uh, were done by my good buddy Michael Hammett, uh, who now works for a Secret Weapon as a resin caster. Um, or I guess will again when we, you know, can work. <laughs> Ferris Ground. Ferris ground is definitely it, yeah. Sewer of sewers. Well, let's uh, let's ask real quick. All right. Let's run down our options here. We have effluent sewers, Victorian sewers, verdant sewers, sewer park, slimy sewer, mossy sewer, asylum sewers, and undercity sewer. And again, this is one where sewer needs to be part of the name for SEO reasons, search engine optimization reasons. Um, so as long as we've got sewer something or something sewer, but would anybody uh, in love with one of these names? I really like Undercity Sewer. I like Undercity Sewer. I'm partial to Sewer Park, but only because it would make my kid happy. <laughs> You got to take my phone on a Pokewalk. I don't think he needs to name a base today. <laughs> then we have. All right, so we should come back around to. That's right, because we have uh, Ferris Ground named for the rest. Let's get through the last of these, and then I'm gonna come back around to the bazaar for our last couple of minutes here. Shoreline, gotta show off Shoreline, and our final what? Six minutes. Six minutes. Six minutes. Whoa! I got carried away. Silent halls. Still compatible with Ruined Temple and Imperial Halls. You can have so many halls. We give you all the halls. We give you snow. Frozen Plains. Frozen Plains. Tokyo Tatami. Should be a great name for a band. Yes. Town Square. See, Jeffrey likes Undercity Sewer, too. I like this sort of That's three here. All right. I'm feeling like that's it right now. That's it. Ah, Under Factory. Well, actually, it actually makes those two uh, fairly uh, thematic, Under Factory and Undercity. Yeah. I like it. The uh, futuristic and uh, so the, the 40K and Mordheim versions. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That works out well. Urban Streets, again, uh, taken from the... Uh, Urban Streets uh, Tablescape Styles, for those of you lucky enough to have them. And then our wood prototypes that we're still working on. So let's go back. The other one we have still to name for sure is the Bazaar. So we have named the Rusty Ones Ferris Ground. We have named the Sewers Undercity Sewer. And then in the last five minutes, we have the Bazaar, which we have had Marrakesh Market, Eastern Market, Persian Bazaar, and Alhambra Sunset. I like Eastern Market myself. Eastern Bazaar? Or Eastern Bazaar. I like Eastern being a part of it. Whereas I worry that Marrakesh and Persian may be too specific. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, Mario. Bazaar Bazaar? The Bazaar Bazaar. How bizarre. How bizarre. When we named our son, we joked that Irish McIrishson sounded dumb, so we came up with something a bit more Irish. <laughs> All five names. <gasps> Alright, Mario likes Eastern Bazaar. Oop, that's the wrong one. I'll turn us back on. Hi, folks. Here we are. Looks like Eastern Bazaar it is. So I can live with that. And now... We are in three minutes. Three, three minutes. minutes. Oh my God! All right. So, ah, I'm going. I'm going all. It's all us now. Oh my God! Yes. Three minutes. 
So this is it, folks. Um, yeah, especially if you're still out there uh, trying to get in, uh, now is definitely the time to uh, jump over to Kickstarter and make sure you get in for at least a dollar pledge. It locks you in for the Kickstarter yes. pricing. Uh, do remember, though, that the pledge levels, if you want that $100 level with the pigments or you want the $200 level where you get the paint and the pigments, uh, you have to pledge those levels now. Yes. Um, they're not available in the um, uh, pledge manager after the campaign. Um, those are Kickstarter side. If you want one of those pledge levels, you need to go lock that in right now. You've got three minutes to do that. Um, grab your friends, grab your enemies. I mean, you can always kill your enemies later, <laughs> steal their stuff. Uh, this is it. This is our final minutes. This is I, the final yeah, the, the countdown. countdown. Yeah, we had to go there. Y'all knew we were going <laughs> to. I don't think there's anybody out there that doubted we were going to go there. We can only do but so much of that, though. Yeah, we, we try. We try to, well, not. <laughs> doesn't always work after a month uh, locked up together as four people it's gotten a little weird here <laughs> just a smidge I feel like that's not uh, kind of focusing for us Bizarre so street. Good. Ooh. Oh Eric. my god, yes, it's whiskey time. Eric is not wrong. It's two minutes. We have our Templeton Rye Manhattans here yep. uh, to celebrate victory with our community. Oh my god, you, you guys people are, amazing. are tremendous. What is this? 555 backers. That's a jump from earlier. Um, oh 100, my gosh. We're down to the seconds. We're down to seconds, guys. It's counting it down on the app for us. Oh, I this know. is nerve wracking. 112 seconds. It's 110. Oh my gosh. It's killing me. Oh my gosh, and one more backer as it's counting down in the seconds here. <laughs> Gotta love it. Oh, and another backer as it counts down the seconds. 99 seconds. Mm. I'm getting ahead of myself because I'm excited. 90. Oh my god, 90 seconds. It's only a minute and a half. I know. I can't even. You guys have a minute and a half. Back it. Yeah, we just got four new files in the Dropbox. Well. <laughs> Crap, let's go, let's go, let's go. What do we got? What do we got? I don't know what we got. Nothing looks different. Dropbox, tell me what's different. I don't know. It's not. We're going to be in the final minute. We're going to be in the final minute. 58 seconds. We're going to do a countdown. Whoo, Ford, it's going all right. We're into the... Uh, Final 49, eight. We've got our victory Manhattans ready to go. Um, wow, you guys have helped us raise more than $47,000. Um, we're still getting backers here at the last 30 seconds. Yes. Uh, one more backer just ticked up as we get 34 seconds to go. Yep. Um, wow, you guys are amazing. Splendid. Um, this has worked because of you. Uh, Cheers, Jeff. A bunch of these themes exist because of you. We heard what you wanted. We were able to do that. Thank you all so much. Yes. Um, yeah, Jeffrey, thank you very much for celebrating with a drink. We're at 15 seconds. All right, here we go. We're going to do a countdown. Oh, my gosh. This is our Kickstarter party because we can't actually have a big party. Yeah, I know. I, we had a plan with the crew and everything. Oh, five, four, four three, three, two, two one. Woo! <laughs> hey, it gives us fireworks. We, we have fireworks. Little... You guys need to see our little fireworks. Oh, they're all done. Oh. But it gives us little fireworks. That was great. Yes. I've never uh, closed off on the app before. That was tremendous. Oh, my gosh. Um, thank you all again. Um, you know, before we go, uh, well, first, yeah, another cheers to our community, um, to the fine folks at Reaper Miniatures for manufacturing the blanks and for uh, getting the tools made for the round lip bases. Um, of course, a uh, shout out to uh, Eric at Every Little War. He's doing all of the printing. He's been working around the clock to get these prototypes um, done during the campaign so you could see it. Um, of course, Major none Tom. of this could happen uh, without Major Tom. Yeah. Every one of these bases that you see is an original piece of his 2D art. Yes. Uh, he has done the digital art for all of these bases. Um, cannot emphasize that enough. Yeah. Um, if you know him from the DACA world or anywhere else, a tremendous miniature painter, a tremendous guy. Um, these are his designs. Absolutely hats off to him. Of course, Jess Rich uh, for all of her support during this, uh, particularly since, uh, well, 
when I started uh, planning for the campaign, she didn't know she was going to be sheltering in place with us. Yeah. So for putting up with all this madness uh, quite unexpectedly um, and That's being okay. such a huge help uh, here and at the warehouse as well, um, just as helping me at the warehouse because it doesn't increase our vector. Um, and of course, uh, none of this would happen without the community. Without uh, we brought the you. idea to you. Um, the first time we launched the campaign, uh, you told us that uh, you weren't happy with our format. Um, we came back and we beat the original campaign uh, almost immediately. Um, since then, we've been able to give you guys new themes. I really appreciate that. Um, so before we go, I want to go back through one more time and give you uh, a look at those themes. And I'll uh, turn us off for now again, because, yeah, this is all about the bases. Your bases. The bases that you helped make. So we now have Eastern Bazaar, thanks to your help naming it, Blasted Wetlands. A bloody pitch, and we will be working on um, uh, set uh, team sense. The clean pitch. Dark Circuit. Desert Mesa. Oh, and Mario, thank you. Uh, no need to thank uh, me. Uh, this is all about uh, uh, you guys. I Yeah, you're awesome. Thank you for being a backer, a supporter, um, and so vocal uh, about the product. Here's Castle Dungeon. Oh, hey, that's what updated. Ha! <laughs> now it's in here as Eastern Bazaar. Ah, that's what that was. I love it. Uh, thank you again, Major Tom, trying to update the names on the fly. That is awesome. Hey, look, there it is, because, yeah, sure, yep. Varus Grounds. That is great. Complete with the names you guys gave them. That is awesome. Thank you, Tom. That was, uh, that's an unexpected little treat. That's great. Thank you. Oh, flight deck. First one to really show off the object source lighting, that glow, and bam. Forgotten Tomb. And I love that it really looks like there were pillars there. You can see the spots where pillars existed. And they're not there now. I love it. Fractal Black. Imperial Halls. Yeah, Mario, it would be good to see you. But uh, yeah, we're going we're gonna to be sheltering for a bit. <coughs> Cold Front. Which, yeah, another one of these where the object source lighting just makes me giddy and I can't even. Yeah. And that texture, the honeycomb texture, it's, ah, it's so good. Ice Storm. So I finally get to base my Ice Storm figures. And, of course, Wildfire with that water and the symbol and the texture and the can't even and the holy cats. Hunting Grounds. Lava Flow. Full of flowing lava. Lava that flows. Martian Menace. Mosaic Burst. Hey, look at that. It did. It did. <laughs> there you go, Mario. It's no Burst longer Mosaic Burts. That's too bad. I really enjoyed that. It's cute. We had um, the first like thousand bottles of our sewage muck pigment went out as sewage much. Um, <laughs> sewage much? Sewage much. Yeah, exactly. It uh, nobody caught it, um, including spell check, because it was spelled correctly. Yes. And for whatever reason, um, all three of us that had done uh, proofing on it went uh, that reads correctly. Sewage much. Um, our brains just filled in the extra line. And it wasn't until I got a call from somebody who's like, is it supposed to be sewer much or sewage muck? I'm looking at the labels going, oh. Moo Moo? Ah, ruined temple. It looks so much like the resins. It's just uncanny. It's unbelievable. Ferris Crown. Uh, Undercity Sewer, which may come up again because chance is good it's named in here. Shoreline. Silent Halls. And again, as a backer, you have access to these themes. A few of them we're uh, waiting to put up. Now that we've got the uh, consolidated images, we can put them up on the uh, pledge manager for you. 
frozen plains. Tokyo Tatami. Town Square. Undercity Sewer. I knew it was coming. Under Factory. And that grading, though, I just can't. It's so unreal. And then, of course, a prototype of Fractal Jess is coming. Yep. Urban Streets. Oh, wait, you mean like uploading now? Not uploading. Okay. Printing. <laughs> and our wood plank themes that we're still sorting out. Ah, so yeah. Um, as we wrap up uh, this, what, uh, little over two hour broadcast yeah. uh, for the final countdown. <laughs> I it's, can't. Uh, it's what arrived. It's been a crazy three weeks. It's been a crazy three weeks. Uh, it's been a crazy <laughs> month. Um, yeah. Yeah. Thank you again for your support, um, for your enthusiasm. Oh, there's Ooh. three new files. Hold up. Give us a second. Okay, it's the yeah names. All right, we've got correct names. That's all right. Yeah, you guys have seen them. Whew. Uh, it has been great. Thank you for this. Uh, we're gonna wrap up and try to decompress a bit. Thank you again so much for your support, um, your trust, your faith in us. Um, yeah. Here's to our community of friends. You guys are all awesome. Thank you, and stay Cheers. safe.